Hello, my name is Candy. I am a canary big-eared bat. Hello, Candy. Pleasure to meet you. Where are you from? Pleasure to be here. Canary big-eared bats are found only on the Canary Islands which are a part of Spain, but are located about 100 kilometers off the coast of Morocco. I live on the island of Tenerife but I have relatives that live on the nearby islands of La Palma and El Hierro. They are lovely subtropic volcanic islands with some forested areas and rocky coasts that we call home. What is life like for you there? Like other bats, we like to sleep during the day and come out at dusk to eat moths and socialize. We sleep together in caves and lava tubes in colonies of up to 60 bats. Your ears are simply amazing. Can you tell us why you have such large ears? Thank you. My ears are surely my best feature. I hunt at night, but my small eyes don't allow me to see well enough to capture moths. However, my ears are very large and shaped so as to improve my hearing ability. Other bats with smaller ears use echolocation to find, follow and capture flying insects. My hearing is so good I can hear a moth's wings beating and don't need to use my echolocation to catch them. You are really cute and friendly. Do people in the Canary Islands treat you well? Well, no, not particularly. Like other places, most people here are afraid of bats. This is very strange to us. We are only a few inches long and just eat moths and bugs. You humans are about 5,000 times heavier than us, so you are a bigger danger to us than we are to you. But people think all bats drink blood and spread disease. This is greatly exaggerated. Of the more than 1,400 bat species in the world, only three are blood eaters. Those are found only in Central and South America and they are much more likely to bite a chicken than a human. Also, while bats can contract and spread rabies, globally, 99% of rabies cases in humans are caused by dog bites, not by bats. So, instead of seeing us as scary, why not see us as we are? Your furry, flying friends. The Canary Islands are popular with the tourists. Does this cause any problems for you? Actually, it does. The Canary Islands have a local population of about 2 million people, but every year about 12 million tourists visit. These tourists like to wander around everywhere, and sometimes come into our caves, disturbing our sleep. They also tend to be very loud, our ears are almost as large as our bodies, and we need our sensitive hearing to detect the sound of moth wings beating. This becomes difficult with the noise of planes, boats, street traffic, screaming fans and loud music at all hours. Human-made noises are ear pollution for us and it makes it harder to find our food. Canary big-eared bats are threatened with extinction. Can you tell us how many canary big-eared bats there are now? And how your population became so small? Back in 2016 scientists estimated our population to be about 2,000 bats, but it seems less than that now. We are trying to grow our population, but it is difficult. While cats sometimes try to eat us, we can hear them coming and fly away. Our biggest challenges come from humans who are cutting down forests to use the land for homes, farms and tourist activities. People grow a lot of bananas and tomatoes here and are fond of spraying their crops with pesticides to kill bugs. Those poisons are also killing our food supply. Another problem has been the habit humans have of abandoning buildings. These old buildings make wonderful roosting places for us. But without any warning, some other humans come along and destroy the building while we are sleeping in it. I've lost many friends that way. Do you have any other message we can share with the humans? We are putting this interview on our YouTube channel so people around the world can watch it. Yes, I do. Thank you. We are worried in the future there won't be any more canary big-eared bats. There are people trying to help us, like those of Bat Conservation International. But many more people don't realize we are in danger, and thus aren't trying to help. One thing people could do that would help us and other endangered species is reconsider what you do for fun. Golf, scuba diving, four-wheeling and cave exploration are all fun, 
but they intrude into the homes of species that are struggling to survive. We suggest that you consider ways to enjoy nature without damaging it. For example, there are many organizations that offer volunteering vacations where people can help restore and protect nature. These provide memorable experiences that connect humans with nature and help protect the planet for all of us. Thank you for sharing this message and your story with us, Candy. We wish you a long and safe future. My pleasure, and thank you all for sharing this planet with us.